I'm very excited about our future. If you look at what we've done last two years in terms of developing the University of Cincinnati Cancer Center, it is remarkable. Part of this was bringing together the University of Cincinnati, Cincinnati Children's, and UC Health to form this unique entity that leverages the strengths of each institution. We have so many great people here between the physicians, the scientists, uh, the nurses, and it's really the ultimate in team. This allows us to bring together top-notch researchers, clinicians from each entity to deliver top-level care for our community, to perform cutting-edge research that's nationally recognized, and to help train the next generation of cancer researchers and clinicians. And our role is to have an atmosphere where people can perform at their very best and thrive for the benefit of the patients we have the privilege of seeing and helping their families. Well, when somebody has a newly diagnosed cancer, it's obviously a highly frightening time. A lot of anxiety with the uncertainty about the diagnosis, many questions, what's gonna come, what the treatment's gonna be like, what are the possible outcomes. Our emphasis is that every single patient gets treated like a friend and a relative. And that's the atmosphere we have here. Combining that with the tremendous expertise, the teamwork we have, we think that we have a fantastic place for people to come with really any kind of newly diagnosed cancer. It's very common for our clinicians to meet on a monthly basis with our researchers to talk to one another to see what's current, what discoveries in the lab can be taken to the patients. And based on this interaction, we have lots of ongoing studies that are leveraging the strengths of our scientists and delivering it to the patient at the bedside. And Science Lives Hope uh, means that we are at the forefront of new discoveries. The field of cancer is evolving quickly, and it's a particularly exciting time with new approaches that are coming relative to cancer prevention, detection, treatment, recovery. We are in, in a collaboration right now with how to manipulate uh, vegetables to try to make them cancer preventative. We have a cyclotron that will be coming online. It's gonna put us right at the forefront of diagnostics for early detection. And we're excited to learn whether this idea of very rapid radiation, flash radiation can be helpful. Another is looking at unique biomarkers, blood tests that can be measured that allow us to determine if the tumor is responding to chemotherapy before imaging will actually tell us whether the tumor is responding. And then we get a sample of the tumor either through the blood or actually biopsying the tumor and finding the genomic sequencing of those tumors that allow us to tailor the therapy for that individual patient. In recovery, uh, we have a very vibrant exercise cancer program that uh, is trying to help people recover as well and as quickly as possible from their diseases. And what we really want to do is leave a mark um, that will not only help our city and our community, but you know, we'll leave a mark on the national level.